This is a 10,000 square foot general store building that was built in the early 1900s. Over the years, it has been used as a cafe, barber shop, and more. A few years ago, my family and I moved into this building and began the slow process of renovating it into our home. Because we've been doing most of the work ourselves in our spare time, progress has been pretty slow, so we still have a lot of work left to do. Our focus for the last two years has been working on the north side of the building where the bedrooms for our kids will be, as well as our master bedroom, family room, and dining room. When we moved into the building, the original windows on the north side had been sealed up with brick. Since some of our main living areas would be over here, we decided to cut the brick and put windows back in to bring more natural light into this space. In the last video, I walked through my process of fixing some of the framing for the windows, and also showed how I'm using a product called the Zip System Flashing Tape to flash and seal the windows. In this video, I'll be finishing up sealing all three of the bottom windows, including the big picture window. Well, it's Thursday. It's been a couple days since I've been able to work. It did end up raining, which meant I wasn't able to work on this window, but the liquid flash did end up coming in. And so it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. I've got a, a nice day today to try to finish getting this window all sealed up. I did notice, came and checked this window uh, on the day that it was raining and there was a little bit of water coming in. And so I really wanna make sure that I get this sealed up completely before the rain tomorrow. Today, I'm finishing up sealing the windows with a product called Liquid Flash from the Huber Wood Company. This is a highly durable fluid applied flashing membrane that I'm going to be using to cover up the exposed part of the wood frame that isn't covered up by the tape. And I'll use it to seal up the opening between the window frame and the brick wall to eliminate any water or airflow. You know, there's the seams here where the, the window framing the wood meets the brick. This one has a little bit bigger gap in some spots. The liquid flash will, will be what I use to seal up between the, the wood and the brick here. These windows are on the north side of the building and during the winter they take on a lot of cold air, ice, and snow and so I really want to go above and beyond to make sure that all the windows on this wall are sealed up. The first thing I did was to take some acetone on a rag and wipe down the top of the flashing tape that was covering the wood framing to remove the release agent on the tape. This was to help make sure that the liquid flash would adhere to the tape and wouldn't start to peel off over time. After wiping down the flashing tape, I used masking tape to tape off around the inside of the brick opening to make sure that when I applied the liquid flash, I would have a nice clean line. I used a straight wood block as a guide to make sure that I placed the tape in a straight line, leaving about a one inch gap of exposed brick where I'd apply the sealer. Once everything was taped off, I used my caulking gun to begin applying the liquid flash. I used a painter's knife to smooth it out and to push it back into the cracks and crevices. The Huber Wood Company actually has a plastic tool that is meant to be used for applying and smoothing out the liquid flash but I didn't have one of those, so I just used a regular painter's knife that I got from the local hardware store. The Liquid Flash has a pretty thick, almost glue-like consistency, and it stuck really well to both the brick and the wood and smoothed out pretty easily. I continued applying it and then spreading it out, filling in any cracks or openings where water or air could get through. Once I had applied the liquid flash around the whole window, I began removing the painter's tape while it was still wet. There were some spots where it seeped under the tape, but overall it left a pretty nice clean line. Well, I got the window all sealed up with the liquid flash, got all the corners 
covered up. Um, it got qu quite a bit messier in some spots than I'd hoped, but definitely would recommend if you use this to use the painter's tape um, just to kind of keep it neat. And if I hadn't done that, it definitely would have got all over the, the rest of the brick and would have looked a lot messier than it does. So yeah, now I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and I'll put the window in. I think I might tape over the window, just over the, the top and just uh, give it another extra layer of protection. So once it dries and I get all that done, this window will be all ready to be trimmed up. So I waited a while for the liquid flash to fully dry and then put the window back in place and attached it with screws. Then moved on to working on the next two windows. Fortunately, I did have some help from my younger brother for the next two windows, which helped everything go a lot faster. We repeated the same steps for both windows, putting on the flashing tape first around the entire window frame, making sure to roll the tape after applying it. We use the normal flashing tape first, then use the stretch tape in the corners. After that, we applied the liquid flash to cover up any exposed wood on the framing and to fill in all the cracks and openings. After everything was sealed up, I removed the painter's tape and then waited for the liquid flash to dry before putting the windows back in. It is Tuesday, November 1st. And as of yesterday, I got, I've got both of these windows pretty much sealed up. I, I had to cover them up to let the, the liquid flash dry overnight, but you can see how it, it adds a pretty, pretty good thick layer between the, the framing and, and the brick. And when it dries, it's, it's, still, it's still a little tacky. This stuff is taking longer to dry than I had expected it would, but when it dries, it has like a kind of a rubbery feel to it. And so definitely nice stuff and we'll, we'll I, I don't have a doubt that it's gonna do the job well. There's a few spots here, kind of hard to show up on camera, there's a spot. There's a few places where there's just little uh, holes that I've, I've noticed when it's dried, there's some holes that have shown up where, where the brick or the wood underneath is showing through. So I'll go back through those and, and just cover up those few um, spots before we put the windows back in. So now all that's left to do is to put the windows back in and trim them up, which I think I'll do that in a different video. This video has probably gone on quite long enough at this point. Um, yeah, but I appreciate all of you who have uh, stuck around to watch this full video and I know we're getting a lot of comments from people just wanting us to post as many updates as we can and so even when there's a little bit less interesting project like this one, we're going to try to post as much as we can. So we appreciate all of you who are following and supporting the channel and we'll see you in the next video.